Doluo. The Glory of the Peerless Angel Introduction. Peerless Tang Clan Tongren, ten thousand years after the Divine War, at Jialing Pass, where angels and the Rakshasa deity had fallen, a child was born who was held by both saints and demons. Coincidentally, the Nine Treasures Glass sect came to worship their ancestors the deathly spirit Holy Dharma God from another world, the Rakshasa God who should have fallen, the Ice and Snow Lord of the Far North, and the blood-red nine-headed bat emperor who survived the capital of slaughter the eternal burning wings take me away from the sinking of the mortal world, and the glory of the angelic tribe will once again bloom on the Dolua continent. Chapter 1 Angel, Red Dragon, and Glass Pagoda, Part 1 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Dolua Continent, the peripheral area of the Star Doe Forest the Starry Forest is the most vast and ancient gathering place for soul beasts on the Dolua continent. At a glance, all of them are towering ancient trees, one by one. The branches that spread out between the trees intertwine with each other, creating a green mist and a rhythmic atmosphere of life that seems to form essence. Roar A roar shattered the tranquil atmosphere in the forest, and a huge black shadow leapt forward. Wherever it passed, Large pieces of ancient wood fell to both sides like cutting wheat. This is a soul beast with an appearance similar to that of an ape, wrapped in steel-like brown-black fur all over its body. Although it runs on all four limbs, its shoulder height is definitely over seven meters, and its physique is incredibly robust. Its whole body is covered with muscles that are more solid than granite, and every bump is like a small hill. Diamond Baboon, with a cultivation of 2,000 years. The Diamond Baboon is renowned among soul beasts. Firstly, as the largest ape soul beast, its wild muscles create an unparalleled physique, while also providing it with exceptionally powerful strength, speed, attack, and defense. Apart from lacking long-range attack methods, it has no flaws. The second reason is that the Diamond Baboon, as an ape soul beast, has particularly low intelligence. It acts on instinct, has a cruel personality, likes to kill, is fierce and domineering, and is easily taken aback by many soul beasts. However, the diamond baboon, who roamed the soul beast realm under the name of Mangfu, was actually running away at this moment. The bright yellow beast's eyes are no longer as fierce and cruel as before, leaving only fear and unease. The diamond baboon occasionally looks back, as if there is an indescribable monster chasing it behind. The first soul skill is the radiant spirit formation. The sound of Qingyue suddenly sounded. The huge golden seven-pointed star formation instantly floated above the head of the diamond baboon, shining brightly like the bustling world. When it fell from the clouds, immortals waved their pens and splashed ink from bottom to top, leaving floating lights and shadows in the mid-air. Roar the flowing light has arrived, and the diamond baboon decisively stopped running, holding its head tightly in both hands to protect its weaknesses. A beam of flowing light emitted a metallic coldness, and the defense built by the arms of the diamond baboon was longitudinally broken open, like a door violently pushed open. Blood scattered like sawdust, and then a shadow rushed into its sight above. Ling Bai spread out his angel wings, as if there was a misty and illusory six-winged figure enveloping him behind him. He held a golden three-foot-long sword in his hand, and his three soul rings, one yellow and two purple, shone brightly under his feet. His handsome face was calm and indifferent, and only the cold and merciless killing in his golden pupils. The diamond baboon roared and felt Ling Bai's killing aura. It couldn't bear it any more. Its massive body rushed forward like an armored tank, as if the arms of the heavenly giant pillar were raised, with a strong wind hitting Ling Bai's head. The angel's holy sword fell and met the blood-drenched arm. At the moment of their intersection, there was a loud noise. The ground under the feet of the diamond baboon cracked inch by inch, with terrifying cracks spreading everywhere, and smoke and dust rolling in the sky. A scream came from the smoke and dust, and a hairy arm flew out and fell to the ground, forming a perfect parabola. The broken arm is smooth and flat, with golden light surging and blood flowing horizontally. 
A destructive aura invades the body at an extremely fast speed and rushes wildly towards all four limbs. The diamond baboon is not very intelligent, but its life instincts, belonging to soul beasts, are crazily warning. If it does not fight quickly, its power will become weaker and weaker, until it becomes the flesh of the human sword in front of it. Suppressing the discomfort caused by the destruction in his body, the diamond baboon reached out to Ling Bai's abdomen with another heavily injured arm. Ling Bai didn't seem to react. The diamond baboon shook hands and reached straight in, with a human-like smile on his face. The next second, the palm passed through Ling Bai's body, but no drop of blood splattered, and Ling Bai's figure became increasingly faint, transforming into light dust and disappearing. Remnants Roar The golden baboon quickly protected its vital area with its remaining arms, and soon a bright golden sword light fell on its back. Large pieces of brownish-black hair were chopped to pieces, turning into scattered spots of light in the sky. Sparkling with blood-colored dots, the green forest is exceptionally poignant. Ling Bai reappeared in front of the diamond baboon, with the golden light emanating from the angel holy sword in his hand becoming increasingly fierce. The angel's wings spread out, and the three soul rings kept rising and falling as his soul power surged. At this moment, two more figures arrived at lightning speed. A bright and beautiful girl with long red hair tied into a high ponytail, and two yellow soul rings emitting a faint light represent her identity as the second ring's soul master. Her arms show fiery red diamond-shaped dragon scales, but cracks crisscross the scales, as if they would shatter with a gentle touch. The girl's mouth also bears a hint of crimson blood. Another girl, who was also a girl, had a level of beauty and temperament that surpassed that of a red-haired girl. Her long white golden hair hung down her waist, and her pure azure eyes, like lake water, suspended a seven-colored glass pagoda in her palm, reflecting her flawless and inviolable face. Bai Gu, how are you? The tone of the platinum girl implied concern. No problem, be careful with Wu Feng. Ling Bai's eyes narrowed slightly as he locked onto the scarred diamond baboon and said, it's going to fight hard. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. The diamond baboon supported its body with two hind legs, standing upright and breaking through ten meters in height. Its tusks rubbed and bit against each other, making sharp friction sounds. Its red eyes stared fixedly at Ling Bai and the others. These three damn and sticky humans are like candy. Especially the bird man who can fly. Roar. The intense physical pain combined with inner anger finally drove the diamond baboon crazy. Its eyes instantly turned blood red, and even its brown and black hair burned like flames. The color quickly darkened, turning into a deep dark red in an instant. Talent soul skills, go crazy. At the same time, the aura of the diamond baboon became violent, with already worrying intelligence. After unleashing its madness, it abandoned the last bit of rationality and completely became an endless killing machine. The diamond baboon no longer felt the pain inside its body. Its once extremely strong body swelled once again, and its thick, iron pillar like single arm swung and swung, causing a series of sound explosions in the air. Its massive body leaped like a shell and rushed towards Ling Bai. The frenzied diamond baboon felt a strong sense of oppression, and the huge wind brought by its leap made Ning Tian and Wu Feng's pretty faces turn white even at a distance. One of them gritted their lips and refused to give up, looking at the calm figure in the sky, while the other summoned their two yellow soul rings. Seven treasures are transferred out with glass. The seven treasures are famous, one of which is Strength Second, hurry up. The glow of the seven treasures glass pagoda filled the air, and two colorful chains shot out from the front two layers of the pagoda, instantly rushing into Ling Bai's body. The arc-shaped sword energy, like a brilliant golden meteor, with a brilliant golden tail flame, falls into the eyes of the diamond baboon, but it is a deadly beauty. The brilliant golden light illuminated the forest and also illuminated the faces of Ling Bai and the diamond baboon. Ling Bai saw the astonishment and anger on the face of the diamond baboon, 
and the diamond baboon also saw the coldness and bloodthirsty in Ling Bai's eyes. As well as the purple second soul ring flickering at an unknown time. The second soul skill of the six-winged angel, exorcism slash. Roar. Ling Bai passed by in a wrong direction, and the world seemed to break apart. The sunlight shone through the towering branches of ancient trees and poured onto him. Behind him, the massive movements of soul beasts continued in their final roar until they fell to the ground with a loud roar. Chapter 2 Angels, Red Dragons, and Glass Pagodas, Part 2 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ning Tian Ling Bai shouted loudly, and Ning Tian immediately understood. He took out a short knife from the colorful bracelet-shaped storage soul guide in his wrist, and charged towards the Kong baboon with only one breath left. With his hands up and down, he decisively ended the life of this soul beast under the opponent's extremely resentful gaze. A bright purple soul ring slowly rose, exuding a noble aura. You absorbed soul rings here, and I and Wu Fong will protect you. Well, thank you, Brother Bai. Ning Tianzhan smiled and sat cross-legged on the ground, using his soul power to pull the Millennium Soul Ring of the Diamond Baboon, leaving Ling Bai and Wu Fong staring at each other in the forest. After a moment, seeing Ning Tian completely immersed in absorbing soul rings, Wu Fong deliberately coughed and shook his ponytail, clearing his throat and raising his chest, saying. Just a diamond baboon, I can defeat it alone, I don't need you to meddle. Upon hearing these words, Ling Baijin's eyes showed a hint of affirmation. It makes sense, but I remember ten minutes ago, a clown was slapped by a golden baboon and flew twenty meters, breaking three trees and unable to fasten them even when set on the ground. Do you know who she is? You. Wu Feng was trembling with anger and couldn't say a word as he bit his teeth in the painful spot. That's right, that clown is her. The three of them went from the Nine Treasures Glass sect to Shrek Academy. On the way, Ning Tian happened to break through level 30 and decided to turn to the Star Forest to obtain the third soul ring for her. They grew up together from a young age, and when it came to matters involving Ning Tian, Wu Feng had always been at odds with Ling Bai. Before coming to Star Do, he repeatedly promised not to need anyone else's help, but in the end the speed of flying back is faster than rushing out. Finally, Ning Tian pulled it out of the ground like a carrot. I, that was a momentary carelessness. Wu Feng held it for a while before finally uttering a complete sentence with a thud. Oh. Ling Bai's suspicious gaze made the girl feel uneasy all over, but she still insisted. Anyway, I will take on everything related to Ning Tian in the future. Got it, let's play. Ling Bai threw a jade bottle to Wu Feng and waved his hand to show her where to cool down. You. Wu Feng broke through her defense in an instant, and she really wanted to beat Ling Bai. However, the painful historical experience of the past five years told her that this guy in front of her, who has the first sacred martial soul and six-winged angel in the mainland, feels like a demon when he moves his hands. Unable to beat it, Wu Feng decided not to embarrass himself anymore. He sat angrily not far from Ning Tian, pulled out the stopper of the jade bottle, and a fragrance of medicinal herbs invaded his heart and spleen. Ling Miao Dan Wu Feng blinked his eyes. The Ling Miao pill is the best healing pill in the mainland. Its main material is the tree heart of the tree of the soul beast's life, which is a plant that has been around for thousands of years. Even in the wealthy Nine Treasures glass sect, this item can be called a treasure. What do you mean? Wu Feng felt insulted and asked, pinching his waist with both hands. What do you think? Ling Bai's gaze fell on Wu Feng's blood and flesh blurred arms and constantly undulating chest. The rich strength of the Millennium Diamond Baboon was not something that the Second Ring's soul master could resist. Wu Feng's internal organs had long been invaded by force, and now being able to talk back to him was already considered a strong red dragon's constitution. Ling Bai Ling Bai's slightly mocking gaze angered Wu Feng to her heart. She raised the jade bottle and spoke in a strong and powerful voice, 
even if I were beaten to death by the diamond baboon and died in the starry forest, I would never take a bite of your elixir. Is that so? Ling Bite applauded for her unwavering belief and said, If you're dead, shouldn't I be able to do anything to Ning Tian? To repay your sacrifice, I'll set up a monument for you. What color do you like, pink? Standing a monument. Do as you please. Wu Feng almost exploded and swallowed the Ling Miao pill in one gulp. He glared angrily at the young man with a mocking expression on his face and said fiercely. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. As long as I'm here, don't try to bully Ning Tian. After speaking, she immediately sat cross-legged on the ground, using her soul power to absorb the elixir to heal her injuries in a race against time. TSK, my subordinates' mouths are the hardest all over me. Ling Bai roast at Ning Tian and Wu Feng are silent and turn to think about their own affairs. He is a traveler with memories of his past life, knowing that this is the peerless Tang sect world. Due to the difficulty of his second martial soul, he needs the help of a certain senior. According to the timeline, it should be the day when the other party arrives. Alex, you won't disappoint me, will you? Ling Bai extended his palm and his soul power condensed into a purple-black spider the size of a fist. His fangs were huge and ferocious, with venom gathering faintly. His eight long legs, like spears, curved slightly, bounced off Ling Bai's palm and plunged into the ground with a sharp tip like a sickle. Unlike the holy and proud six-winged angel, this spider revealed a different kind of ferocity and ferocity. Find. Ling Bai's instructions were concise and clear. A few months ago, he found an excuse to leave the Nine Treasures glass sect and hid near the White Tiger Duke's mansion. While Hui Yuner was out shopping for daily necessities, he secretly left a unique mark on his White Tiger dagger, which the magic spider could track. The magic spider received the command and ran quickly towards the northwest, gradually disappearing into Ling Bai's field of vision. It seems not far. After an hour, sensing the feedback from the magic spider, Ling Bai's eyes moved slightly, and the two women also woke up leisurely at this moment. Bai Gu, Xiao Feng, I have completed it. Ning Tian stood up and patted his skirt as he walked towards Ling Bai, a light smile blooming on his pretty face. Obviously, he was very satisfied with the third soul skill brought to her by the diamond baboon. Wu Feng saw the situation was not good, and immediately ran two steps to squeeze in, firmly preventing Ling Bai and Ning Tian from intimate contact. Ling Bai didn't care about Wu Feng's careful thinking, after all, it would eventually be his. There was no need to argue for a day or night, and he asked, Xiao Tian, what is your third soul skill? Guess what? Ning Tian asked back, with a gentle and playful voice. The Diamond Baboon is second only to the Titan Ape in terms of power, speed, attack, and defense among primate soul beasts. Its strength, speed, attack, and defense are quite formidable. Your Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda has already added strength and speed, and the third soul skill is more likely to be attack or defense. As an ancient sect that has been passed down for thousands of years, the Nine Treasures Glass sect has developed a set of soul skills that are most suitable for the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda. The power and speed attack and soul enhancement represent the amplification effects of the first six soul skills, which can comprehensively enhance the combat power of teammates from six aspects. Strength, Speed, Attack, Defense, Soul Power, and Attributes. 3 Days, Attack Ning Tian uncovered the mystery and was very happy because whether it was the six-winged angel or the red dragon, what they needed more than defense was definitely attack amplification. As expected, when hearing the third soul skill of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda, Ling Bai and Wu Feng's eyes flashed with joy. The Three Rings Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda had a 40% increase in strength and speed, with three-pronged attacks. The two could even cross a soul ring to fight. Ning Tian looked up at the sky and said, We took a detour to hunt soul beasts, which delayed us for a few days. It's time to report to Shrek Academy. 
the fate between the Nine Treasures Glass Sect and Shrek Academy can be traced back to its ancestor, the nine-colored goddess Ning Rongrong, thousands of years ago. For thousands of years, each generation of the Nine Treasure Glass Sect has sent a direct disciple to Shrek Academy for further education, and this disciple will eventually become the head of the Nine Treasure Glass Sect. Ning Tian's parents only have Ning Tian as their only child, and this inheritance has undoubtedly fallen on her. Ling Bai shook his head and said, No, I think we need to stay in the Star Forest for a while longer. Why? Wu Feng immediately blurted out. Ning Tian also cast an inquisitive gaze, setting aside the Shrek Academy. As the most vast gathering place of soul beasts in the Dolua continent, the Star Forest may encounter unknown dangers for every additional minute of stay here. I have exceeded level 40. Chapter 3 Electrolux, Part 1 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. 40 Level Ning Tian and Wu Feng exclaimed, the former was filled with joy and surprise, while the latter concealed a hint of unwillingness. Wu Feng quietly glanced at Ling Bai. He had already been beaten up and couldn't lift his head anymore, but thirty years in the east and thirty years in the west, do not deceive a girl into poverty. Wu Feng believes that one day she can revive the female wind. Retrieve Princess Ningtian from the hands of Lingbai Demon King. It seems that we really need to stay for a while longer. Ning Tian smiled and said, Most of the peripheral areas are only ten dot year and centenary soul beasts. Meeting millennium soul beasts like the Diamond Baboon is considered good luck for us. By Gu, with your fourth soul ring, we should take a walk in the mixed area. Xi and Ling Bai were childhood sweethearts from childhood to adulthood, and following the ancient teachings of the Nine Treasures and Glass Sect, direct disciples must find a powerful war soul master as their spouse. Due to Ling Bai's outstanding talent, the senior management of the Nine Treasures Glass Sect had already intended to betroth the two of them when they were of appropriate age, providing advance protection for Ning Tian himself and the sect's future. The combination of battle and support, Ling Bai's strength also represents her strength, which makes Ning Tian feel happier than breaking through the Soul Lord. When the decision is made, the decision is made. The three of them are not of a grinding personality. They maintain a simple three-person formation, with Ling Bai and Wu Feng protecting the auxiliary Soul Master Ning Tian from left to right, and together they advance towards the depths of the Starry Forest. The general direction is naturally controlled by Ling Bai, and the magic spider keeps giving feedback to him that the owner of the white tiger dagger is still moving, and its speed can be almost called turtle crawling compared to them. Based on the opponent's only level 10 soul power and weak physical fitness, Ling Bai feels that this slow speed is very reasonable. The hazy mist in the starry forest makes people feel cool, but it is difficult for those in it to relax. Since the Star Forest launched a beast wave and Shrek Academy compromised on behalf of human soul masters, after years of rest and recuperation, the number and quality of soul beasts in it have already reached an astonishing level. It is difficult for low-dot-level soul beasts to compete with powerful soul beasts for territory and food. In order to survive, they must migrate outward. This is also why the soul beasts on the outskirts of the Star Doe Forest are becoming stronger, and even some often rush out of the forest to harass surrounding villages. Heading towards the direction of the White Tiger Dagger, the three of them encountered several soul beasts in succession along the way. However, the one with the highest cultivation level among these soul beasts was only the Flame Lion King, who had been cultivated for 900 years. The Flame Lion King is a powerful soul beast with fire attributes, but it is simply unbeatable in front of Ling Bai and the others. It was subdued by Wu Feng alone. Finally, Wu Feng completely peeled off the magnificent golden red fur of the Flame Lion King and prepared to take it to Shrek City for advanced craftsmen to process and make a bed for Ning Tian. There seems to be soul power fluctuations over there. Ning Tian suddenly sensed something and stopped to point in a certain direction. Hmm. Ling Bai nodded, his mouth slightly raised, and finally caught up. Let's go take a look. Ling Bai, with Ning Tian and Wu Feng, 
pushed through the grass and headed towards the source of soul power fluctuations. What caught the eye was a monkey spirit beast, with brownish-yellow hair all over its body, unusually long arms, sharp nails growing on its claws, ferocious canine teeth exposed, and fierce eyes shining brightly. Wind Baboon Wu Feng frowned. Compared to the top soul beasts like the Diamond Baboon that can compete with the Titan Ape, the Wind Baboon can probably compete with it. With a punch from the Diamond Baboon, the Wind Baboon descends from the Nine Springs. Even though the Wind Baboon pulled its hips so hard, it managed to steadily suppress the Soul Master on the other side. No, 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 there really isn't someone who can't beat the Wind Baboon. Wu Feng could not help but complain that there was a thin young soul master opposite Feng Baboon. He was not very old and looked like the three of them. His clothes were shabby and his appearance was ordinary. The only outstanding advantage was that his dark blue eyes were particularly bright. After ten years of continuous attacks by the wind baboons, the young man dodged left and right, feeling very embarrassed for a while. Ning Tian narrowed his eyes slightly and observed the body shape of the downwind baboon. He said softly, hmm it seems like he still has ten years of cultivation. Hey, you two are too arrogant. After hearing the two women roast, Ling Bai has no choice but to smile. It is natural that the future god of emotion, the famous Hui Yuhao and Hua Gua, is driven to despair by the wind baboon. Although Hui Yuhao is a bit useless now, he will soon soar to the sky. Shu. Wu Feng pouted and almost engraved the word contemptuous on his face. Ning Tian smiled lightly and wrapped his fingertips around a bundle of white and golden long hair, saying. Do you want to help him? No need. Ling Bai shook his head. Hui Yuhao was just a locator to him, and his life and death had nothing to do with him. If Hui Yuhao is really slaughtered by the soul beast of ten years, Ling Bai will give a thumbs up to the wind baboon, my god killer. Hey hey hey, Ning Tian, look. That guy killed me. Wu Feng suddenly excitedly grabbed Ning Tian. At the center of the battlefield, the wind baboon was intercepted by Hui Yuhao with a white tiger dagger for two consecutive palms, seeming to be infuriated by its ferocity. It raised its upper body and vigorously pounded its chest with its fists, roaring and suddenly opening its big mouth towards Hui Yuhao. A white light instantly sprayed out of its mouth and flew straight towards Hui Yuhao. At the same time as spewing out white light, the wind baboon also quickly rushed towards Hui Yuhao, with a bloodthirsty glow in its eyes. Hui Yuhao, who lost his thinking ability at the critical moment of life and death, instinctively leaned back to the ground with his body instincts. At the same time, he lifted the white tiger dagger tightly held in his right hand and collided with the white light emitted by the wind baboon. The wind baboon leapt over the white tiger dagger, grabbing Hui Yuhao's shoulders with both arms and tossing it along the way. Successfully falling out of Hui Yuhao, Feng Baboon's body seemed to stiffen for a moment. Hui Yuhao was thrown away, but Feng Baboon rolled on the ground and didn't move. Ling Bai kept everything in his sight. Originally, the length of the White Tiger Dagger could not reach the soaring Wind Baboon, but the White Tiger Dagger absorbed the white light emitted by the Wind Baboon and suddenly released a foot-long sword, brushing past the Baboon. Hui Yuhao achieved a counter-attack. In ancient times, there was a hero who could defeat a tiger with a shovel. Today, the future god of emotions can also defeat a ten-year-old baboon with a shovel. This is all fine. Ning Tian and Wu Feng were greatly shocked. Not to mention them, even Hui Yuhao, who was involved, looked bewildered and sat on the ground for a while before realizing it. Hui Yuhao looked at the white ten that your soul ring on the head of the wind baboon with a complex expression. He couldn't die, he must seek revenge for his mother. The scenes from the previous battle with the wind baboon are replayed in memory, telling him what overconfidence is. Mom. Just as Hui Yuhao was lost, suddenly a despicable voice rushed into his mind. I have finally met a human with spiritual attributes. 
Unfortunately, I won't shed tears, otherwise I would have shed tears all over my face. The earth trembled without warning, and cracks appeared on the ground two meters ahead of Hui Yuhao. The cracks gradually expanded and turned into cracks, with faint golden lights shining faintly. Ning Tian and Wu Feng, who were hiding on the side, took a deep breath and stared at the flickering light at a loss, while Ling Bai's excitement was almost palpable. Here we go, big bug. Chapter 4 Electrolux, Part 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Hui Yuhao's eyes were fixed on the seemingly bottomless crack for a moment. If it weren't for the fierce battle with the wind baboon just now, his whole body was weak and sore, and he would have already taken his legs and fled. A figure emerged from the crack, and with its appearance, the water vapor instantly condensed into ice mist. The cold chill did not stop him from shivering several times. Spiritual soul master, your heavenly dream brother is here. The previously despicable voice once again echoed in Hui Yuhao's mind, revealing the true face of his figure, which was a jade-white silkworm baby with ten golden stripes. Million-year soul beast, heavenly dream ice silkworm. As the words fell, the golden stripes on the back of the heavenly dream ice silkworm transformed into ten golden halos, quickly enveloping Hui Yuhao's thin and weak body like a bamboo pole. The heavenly dream ice silkworm melted into strands of white light, rushing wildly towards Hui Yuhao's body. Tianmeng ice silkworm and Hui Yuhao merged while at the same time, an invisible spiritual force continued to spread outward from it. The spiritual power released by the million-year spirit-type soul beast is so terrifying that it almost instantly covers every corner within a hundred miles in diameter. All intelligent lives immediately fall into a state of stagnation, and time seems to have been pressed by the heavenly dream ice silkworm to pause. Card Card In the audible silence of the needle falling, the sound of eggshell shattering suddenly rang out. Hmm. The heavenly dream ice silkworm has a trace of consciousness, observing its surroundings with caution. Fusion is related to its life and fortune, and it must be fully prepared. It is also curious that the process of becoming a smart soul ring is essentially similar to sacrificing, as it releases powerful spiritual realms that cannot be intervened by even the title Dolua or the 100,000 year soul beast. On the outskirts of the starry forest, there is life that can ignore the spiritual realm. Without any obstacles, the heavenly dream ice silkworm locked onto the fierce man. The holy sword is in hand, shining with divine light. Ling Bai's face was calm, and against the backdrop of the six-winged angel's radiance, there was an inorganic indifference as he stared at people. I'll strangle it, Shen Wei. The heavenly dream ice silkworm was stunned. If it had eyes, it would definitely pop out of its sockets and bounce back and forth on the ground. Ten thousand years ago, the divine power of the twin gods and the battle of the twin gods swept across the entire Dolua continent, and the crushing of its essence of life made it shiver and hide in the ice cave in the far north. Today, it unexpectedly saw the familiar divine power again. Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm is certain that the young man not far away possesses the divine power of one of the four gods ten thousand years ago. Oh my goodness, I just want to find a host to survive. How could I encounter such a monster? The Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm wants to cry without tears, without the protection of the spiritual realm. In the fusion stage, it is not much different from Hui Yuhao and the fish on the chopping board, and can only be slaughtered by Ling Bai. Please, brother. You treat us like bullshit and let us go. The heavenly dream ice silkworm prays frantically, and if possible, it even wants to gather its spiritual body and cry for mercy. Ling Bai was unaware of the rich inner activities of Xia Oceanmeng ice silkworm and did not care because he had no interest in this product. He needs the heavenly dream ice silkworm to the extent that fish need a bicycle. The six-winged angel is not a spiritual martial soul. To him, the heavenly dream ice silkworm is like a chicken rib. As for the ice attribute martial soul the martial soul is not as precious as the essence, let alone he is already a twin martial soul. Ling Bai glanced at Ning Tian and Wu Feng, only to find that they were still motionless. 
His heart suddenly became much more stable, as the spiritual realm did not possess destructive power, but could make all living beings lose consciousness in a short period of time. The next thing. They don't know the best. Ling Bai watched as it changed. Seeing Ling Bai motionless, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm breathed a sigh of relief and secretly picked up a small life. Then, she suddenly accelerated her fusion speed and exchanged ideas with Hui Yuhao in the Sea of Spirit to strengthen her relationship. Bang! But just then, the sky, which had been extremely clear the moment before, suddenly darkened, and a thunderous roar echoed high in the sky. In that moment, the light of the sun was completely obscured by the darkness. A huge and breathless pressure descended from the sky. When the thunderous roar rang out, the heavenly dream ice silkworm's massive body shook violently. Its two small eyes flipped upwards and looked at the sky, revealing a look of shock. In the midst of the shock, there was still a bit of confusion. Obviously, the oppression in the sky had nothing to do with it. A very blurry figure descended through time and space, and an old voice sounded with an indescribable majesty. Holding the sun, moon, and stars, there is no one like me in the world. I didn't expect that there would be a trace of my soul preserved. Exotic powerhouse, Alex. After speaking, Electrolux looked at Hui Yuhao and Tianmeng Ice Silkworm, their figures fluttering, as if wanting to join them in a happy game of three people walking together. Old man, I came first. Despite countless efforts to find a suitable host, the heavenly dream ice silkworm is unwilling to give in. It is rare to see a hint of the ferocity of a soul beast in its eyes, and controlling its spiritual power will inevitably block Electrolux. Senior. A loud shout interrupted Alex's next move, and his gaze fell on Ling Bai, his expression changing imperceptibly for a moment. Ling Bai opened his arms, and the six-winged angel's martial soul was retracted. At this moment, a faint purple-black color began to appear under his exposed skin. It seemed that something was eager to emerge from beneath his skin. Behind him, a huge phantom of a magic spider slowly solidified, eight crimson eyes shining like candles in the air, emitting a cold light. Eight bent long legs bent and stretched, slowly moving forward, and everything passing by withered and turned into powder, scattered and scattered. Yeah. The magic spider let out a piercing roar at Electrolux, and the suffocating terror that rushed towards them penetrated their souls. Even the heavenly dream ice silkworm and Hui Yuhao in the spirit sea trembled and hugged each other, attempting to gain a slight sense of security from each other. Death Attribute Electrolux was taken aback and immediately burst into laughter. Not bad, not bad. I am known as the Holy Spirit of the Dead, but you little one and I have a fate. In the eyes of Electrolux, Hui Yuhao is just a mental attribute novice, while Ling Bai is a junior with the same attribute. Electrolux's choice is very clear. Ling Bai opened up the Sea of Spirit and successfully received Alex. Finally done. The plan was successfully implemented and Ling Bai Chang breathed a sigh of relief. In the future, with the presence of Alex, the issue of the second martial soul should be properly resolved. On the other side, Hui Yuhao and Tianmeng Ice Silkworm have just completed their fusion, dissipating their spiritual realm and restoring the surrounding time and space. Zio Yuhao, go pick up my brother's molting. The million-year-old soul beast molting is a rare treasure in the world. In the Sea of Spirit, Tianmeng Ice Silkworm lazily said to Hui Yuhao in the posture of Guyu lying down. That, brother Tianmeng. Hui Yuhao said weakly, is your molting like a white film? Yeah, what's wrong? It's nothing, it just got taken by someone. Chapter 5 Tang Men, Human-Faced Magic Spider, Part 1 You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Sleeping in bed, I have taken my lost body. The heavenly dream ice silkworm sat up in shock as it was on the brink of death. A silkworm cub suddenly appeared with a carp and looked outside through Hui Yuhao's eyes, only to find that Ling Bai had just put the white film into the storage soul guide. No. The heavenly dream ice silkworm roared up to the sky, its gaze fixed on Ling Bai, 
between the vengeful woman who had killed her father and her husband who was obsessed with gambling. Although crazily roaring in his heart to snatch back his molt, the remaining reason told Tianmeng Ice Silkworm that he only wanted to create a god as a smart soul ring, and the goods on the other side clearly had divine power. In other words, Ling Bai is highly likely to be the inheritor of a certain deity, and at worst, he is also a very close descendant. It's not a wise move for Tianmeng Ice Silkworm and Hui Yuhao to rashly provoke Ling Bai now. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm was so angry that her teeth were itching, and she had to pinch her nose to acknowledge this dark loss. Thirty years in the East and thirty years in the West, don't bully the young. Old silkworms are poor. Bai Gu, what happened? Ning Tian and Wu Feng regained consciousness from the spiritual realm, with a hint of confusion in their eyes, a strange feeling as if they were separated from each other. It's okay. Ling Bai smiled. There was no need to let them know the secrets of Alex and Tianmeng Ice Silkworm. Sometimes being confused is more important than being clear-headed. Rain Hao. Rain Hao. In the distance, two figures rush towards this side at an extremely fast speed. There is a man and a woman, both looking 14 or 15 years old. The girl has a lively melon seed face, long black hair combs, and a long ponytail. Her eyes are large and agile, making her a perfect beauty. The boy was tall and straight, with short dark blue hair emitting a jewel like luster. He was handsome with a hint of elegance, and even on the way, his gaze occasionally stopped at the girl on the side. Brother Bebe, Sister Tanya. Hui Yuhao recognized the newcomers as Bebe and Tanya, whom he had previously met before, and immediately waved in surprise. The scenes just now all revealed that Ling Bai was extremely dangerous not far away, and Tianmeng Ice Silkworm kept warning him not to provoke that monster. Bebe and Tanya arrived, giving Hui Yuhao a sense of security in his heart. His tense body and nerves slowly relaxed. Sorry, Xiao Yuhao, we're late. The two of them quickly arrived at Hui Yuhao's side and stopped, looking at the tragic body of the wind baboon on the ground and Hui Yuhao, who was injured all over, with a worried expression on their faces. It's okay, Sister Tanya. Hui Yuhao shook his head, it's a blessing in disguise. I killed the wind baboon and obtained the first soul ring. Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm Million Year Soul Ring X Wind Baboon Ten Year Soul Ring. Ten Year Soul Rings. Bebe frowned slightly. He had previously met Hui Yuhao but did not reveal his spiritual and martial soul. He simply felt that the ten that your soul ring might hinder Hui Yuhao's future. A small question, you can find another century-old soul beast for the second soul ring. Tanya was so heartless that she couldn't bear it anymore. In her eyes, Hui Yuhao was lucky enough to survive, and things like soul rings were all small things. Then she accidentally saw Ling Bai and the others, her beautiful eyes instantly staring like copper bells, and instinctively exclaimed in surprise. Bebe. Bebe. Look at them. Especially that handsome little guy, he's so awesome. Bebe looked at her ex-girlfriend speechlessly, but had to admit it. The three people in front of me have real looks after searching for a while, Bebe finally came up with only two words. Against the heavens. White crystal high heels, a navy blue waistband dress, and luxurious accessories on her platinum long hair, even Bebe, who is used to seeing beautiful women of all sizes in college, has to admit that Ning Tian is too beautiful. She is completely incomparable to ordinary people with her innate charm. Anyone who sees this girl will feel that God is so biased, and only this eccentricity can need the beauty that comes from genes at present. Bebe could almost look at Ning Tian and imagine the series of breathtaking beauties on her family tree. Although Wu Feng may not have the same appearance as Ning Tian, he is definitely capable of handling the word, beauty. His figure is even more impressive, with a delicate and curvy appearance that makes Tanya, who is a few years older, look down at him, and a sense of inferiority arises naturally. Don't look. Don't look. 
Tang Yip covered Bei Bei's eyes with open teeth and claws, staring angrily at Ling Bai. Damn it, my boyfriend looks at beautiful women, and I also want to look at handsome guys. Hey, it looks really nice. Ha ha ha. Bei Bei pushed Tang Ye's small hand away with a helpless expression and stared at Ling Bai in a grand manner. He believed that his appearance was already at the level of attention, but he was still instantly killed in front of Ling Bai's face. That handsome face, as if it had been carefully carved by someone, couldn't find any flaws. A pair of shining golden eyes like the sun, but with a hint of indifference and laziness, the golden long hair that matched the color of the eyes hung down on the waist, making people inexplicably think of the radiance of the vast sun. At first glance, they couldn't move their gaze away for a long time. Bebe and Tanya have to admit that spending time with such a trio can bring immense psychological pressure from being overwhelmed by their looks. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net Bebe was the first to react and took the initiative to step forward. The smile on her handsome face was impeccable, and she spoke loudly. Hello, my name is Bebe, and they are my girlfriend Tanya and younger brother Huiyuhao. Tanya and I are both students of Shrek College. Thank you for guarding Yuhao for a period of time before we came. Oh, Shrek College. Wu Feng tilted his head and said, So you should be senior students. Are you also? Bei Bei suddenly realized. Hello, senior Bei Bei, sister Tanya. Ling Bai interjected, My name is Ling Bai, and this is my partner named Tian, Wu Feng. We are new students from Shrek Academy this year and come from the Heavenly Soul Empire. Upon hearing this, Tanya's agile eyes lit up and he said, It's a coincidence, Brother Ling Bebe and I are also from the Heavenly Soul Empire, and we are all fellow countrymen. If you have any trouble in the Academy in the future, just report your name as your senior sister. You don't need to worry about small things, you can't handle big things. 6. Ling Bai couldn't help but look at Tanya with admiration. It's useless to share your name, big or small. You are such a good person who struck with lightning. Ning Tian and Wu Feng stood on both sides of Ling Bai, their rosy lips unable to resist a slight curve, clearly amused by Tanya's domineering self-introduction. You wait first. Bei Bei quickly pulled Tanya behind her, coughed lightly to relieve embarrassment, and said seriously. Junior brothers and sisters, since we can meet in the starry forest, I believe you are here to obtain the soul ring. Yes, I need a soul ring. Ling Bai nodded slightly. Coincidentally, Xiaoya is also missing a soul ring. We are all Shrek students. How about forming a temporary team? Let's hunt the soul beasts together and then return to the academy to report. Chapter 6 Tang Men, Human-Faced Magic Spider, Part 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Team Up Bei Bei and Tanya are both Shrek students, and based on their past life memories, their character can be trusted. It's okay to act with them. Ling Bai exchanged glances with Ning Tian and immediately agreed. The next question came one after another, and five of the six people present were Shrek students. Hui Yuhao suddenly appeared very embarrassed. He rubbed his hands awkwardly, blushing and asking. Can I register for Shrek College? Upon hearing these words, Wu Feng couldn't help but curl his lips, put his hands around his chest, and raised his chin, saying, the admission requirements for Shrek Academy are under twelve years old, with at least fifteen levels of soul power. You can't meet these requirements alone, let alone the recommendation letter for the main city level. Due to Ning Tian's presence, she was too embarrassed to say anything more outrageous, but there was an inevitable hint of contempt in her expression. Wu Feng grew up in the Jiubao Yoli sect, which has been passed down for thousands of years. She has an innate soul power of nine levels and is a top dot level martial soul red dragon of the Strong Attack series. She was regarded by the Jiubao Yuli sect as the next generation of protector Dolua cultivation since childhood, and her status among the younger generation is only second to that of Ning Tian and Ling Bai, so she developed a spoiled personality. 
In addition, most soul masters have a strong spirit of Mu Chang. Wu Feng couldn't stand Ling Bai but always obeyed him. Hui Yuhao, who had been a baboon for ten years, was almost destined not to receive her respect. Yu. Feeling the mockery of Wu Feng, Hui Yuhao couldn't help but clench his fists. His city was not so expressionless that he was still a child with all his expressions written on his face. Ning Tian lightly poked Wu Feng's waist, indicating that she should not be aggressive, and apologized to Hui Yuhao. Sorry Yuhao, Xiao Feng's words are a bit heavy. Don't take it to heart. Hmm. Hui Yuhao gave a muffled response, and a bitter smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Lies won't hurt people, truth is the sharp sword. Wu Feng's words are rough and not rough. He has just obtained the first soul ring and his soul power is only 11 levels, far from the enrollment requirements of Shrek Academy. As for the recommendation letter for the main city level, he has no way to start. Looking at Hui Yuhao, who was instantly wilting like frost beating an eggplant, Tang Ye's eyes flashed with an unbearable expression, and as soon as Bei Bei saw her like this, she knew she must have been kind-hearted again. Sure enough, Tang Ye quickly stepped forward and touched Hui Yuhao's head, saying seriously, Zio Yuhao, do you want to enter Shrek Academy? I want to, but I am an orphan. I have no connections and my strength is not up to standard. Hui Yuhao said hesitantly. Those are not important, just think about them. Tang Ye patted her chest, showing a strong sense of femininity. I used to be the contemporary head of the first sect in mainland China, Tang Men. Bei Bei was my founding disciple. Now that Tang Men is desolate, Shrek College is still willing to give Tang Men a special admission spot every year. Bei Bei and I have already enrolled and won't be able to use this year's spot. As long as you join Tang Men, I will give you the spot. Tang Men. Hui Yuhao was shocked, obviously he knew about Tang Men. They are actually Tang Men. The arrogance on Wu Feng's face slowly dissipated, and Ning Tian couldn't help but furrow his eyebrows and carefully scrutinize Tang Ye. The Nine Treasures and Glass Sect, as well as the Tang Clan, have all experienced glory in the past, but today, after thousands of years, each has its own reasons for not being as prosperous as before. Suddenly, Ning Tian seemed to think of something and whispered, Bai Gu, I remember that Tang clan was in Tiendo City, not far from our Nine Treasures City, and it seemed that an unknown small sect had taken away its foundation. Yes, there's not much difference between Iron Blood Sect, Tang Ye, and Lonely Family, but... Ling Bai scanned the crowd and said, Six Winged Angels, Tang Men, Nine Treasures Glass Sect, Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, Star Luo White Tiger Clan. All that's needed is the Haokian Hammer to restart the War Soul Hall from 10,000 years ago. The past is the past. Under the scorching gaze of Wu Feng, Ning Tian took the initiative to hold Ling Bai's hand and spoke softly and firmly, Now we are one. Ling Bai inserted his fingers into the gaps between the five fingers of Ning Tian's tender little hand, and turned his head to look at the shy blush on the girl's face. He swallowed a calming pill for her. That's nature. Damn it. Hand in hand again. Wu Feng's nose was almost crooked, and her chest was suffocating, almost suffocating her. On the other hand, Hui Yuhao, who had nothing, naturally joined the Tang Men and shouted to revitalize the Tang Men with his teacher and senior brother. Tang Ye and Bei Bei were overjoyed, and he immediately gave a storage soul guide, Tang San, which was the same as the 24 bridges on a bright moon night. All right, now Zio Yuhao is also a Shrek student, let's go. Tang Ye beckoned everyone to continue their journey towards the starry forest, and her gaze lingered on Wu Feng for an extra moment. She had a good initial impression of Ling Bai and Ning Tian, but in contrast, Wu Feng's rude words made her slightly disgusted. After discussing, the six of them formed a simple formation, with Ling Bai and Bei Bei leading the way, Wu Feng and Tang Ye in the rear, and Ning Tian and Hui Yuhao, who had the worst self-protection ability, being protected in the middle. The crowd did not delve deeper into the interior of the starry forest, but searched horizontally. 
They traveled less than five kilometers before encountering a soul beast again. Old acquaintances, a group of wind baboons. Tanya, who was walking behind, let out a cold snort, and her footsteps became unreal. Her body flickered several times, and she vaguely saw several cold lights flashing by. A ten-year wind baboon, comparable to the god of future emotions, fell from the tree crown. Huiyuhao was stunned, as the wind baboon was so vulnerable in front of Tanya. Cut. Wu Feng was unwilling to be outdone, and a flame was thrown out, directly scorching a wind baboon. Based on his body shape, he inferred that his cultivation was particularly higher than the one Tanya had killed. Wu Feng and Tanya casually portrayed the flash killing of the wind baboon, and their inferiority complex once again occupied Hui Yu Hao's heart. The voice of the heavenly dream ice silkworm rang out at the right time. Don't worry Zio Yu Hao, you have this million-year-old wisdom soul ring, Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net. The future is bright. In less than a year, I promise you will crush the witch wind. Okay, I believe you, brother Tian Meng. Hui Yu Hao reignited his fighting spirit, with the help of an unparalleled million-year soul beast. In the future, he will encounter mountains and build bridges when encountering water. Fortunately, Ling Bai didn't know how to read minds, otherwise he would have patted Hui Yu Hao's shoulder and said earnestly. Don't be too happy too early, young man. What should you do if it is the entanglement of the pure and pure Tang God King with blue silver? There is movement ahead. After dealing with the group of wind baboons, Ling Bai saw a blurry black shadow ahead. Dot. Bei Bei was very surprised. They formed a temporary team, but did not report their martial souls and soul power to each other. He thought that all three of them were freshmen, and that his soul power should be the highest, while his perception was also the most sensitive. Ling Bai. What's going on? The fact was too much for Bei Bei to think, and a strange voice immediately caught his attention. The sound was as if someone was changing clothes, or as if the leaves were rubbing against each other. Everyone was filled with vigilance and carefully looked towards the direction of the sound. Immediately afterwards, they saw the initiator of the sound. What appeared in front of everyone was a spider, a strange large spider with a main body diameter exceeding 1.5 meters and eight spear-like long legs exceeding 3 meters. The whole body has a shiny black shell, and the front end of the long legs is slender. With each step, the long legs pierce the ground and are exceptionally sharp. Lifting the front legs to lift the body upwards, just enough for everyone to see its abdomen. The spider's lower abdomen has some white lines, which form a sharp contrast with its black body. These white lines make up a fierce face, with eight small eyes shining with a faint purple light tightly against its lower abdomen. Human-Faced Magic Spider Chapter 7 The Tyrannous Dictator and the Blazing Bone Dragon Vulture, Part 1 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The human-faced magic spider is a notorious species in the soul beast world, with a cruel and murderous personality, known as the Evil Slayer. Human-faced magic spider, with just formed hair contours on its abdomen and face, with a cultivation of around 1,500 years. Bebe, I will take it. Tanya immediately became excited. Blue silver grass did not have a strict demand for soul rings, and many soul beasts could meet the conditions. The human-faced magic spider was undoubtedly one of the most suitable types for her. With a palm press on Hui Yuhao's shoulder, his delicate body curled up and rolled back, and a light somersault landed next to Bebe. Two halos rose from Tanya's feet at the same time, and the bright yellow soul ring moved up and down. Blue vines were rapidly released, and it was her martial soul, the blue silver grass. One of the blue silver grass entwined around Bebe's waist, and more long vines quietly spread around. Bebe's face was solemn, and he couldn't find any Tanya like joy. Although he was the soul lord of the third ring, Relying on the brute force of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex's strongest attack on the beast soul in the world, he was able to steadily defeat most soul beasts that had been cultivated for 1,500 years. 
The Karen-faced magic spider has an extremely solid shield shell, incredibly fast speed, eight penetrating long legs with venomous effects, and a terrifying venomous spider web he could easily harbor resentment if he's not careful. Brother Ling, this is for me in Xiaoyo. Please protect the others and prevent the human-faced magic spider from suddenly crossing us. Beibei whispered to Ling Bai. Okay. Ling Bai slowly retreated to the side of Ning Tian. Hui Yuhao and Tian Meng Ice Silkworm saw this scene and complained crazily about Ling Bai's justifiable lazy behavior in the Sea of Spirit. Whether Ling Bai uses the six winged angel representing the sanctity of the world or the evil and mysterious spider, the idea of one person, one beast is surprisingly unified. Ling Bai and the human faced demon spider are about three to seven times apart. Ling Bai's three fists, the human faced demon spider had seven. Everyone discovered the human face magic spider, and the human face magic spider naturally also discovered the presence of a human soul master. With eight long legs moving wildly, it brought a series of illusions and rushed to Bebe and Tanya in the blink of an eye. The two front legs instantly lifted and stabbed directly at their heads. Xiaoya. Bebe let out a low cry, and a huge pulling force came from her waist. Tanya immediately understood and swung Bebe up. The yellow soul ring in the blue silver grass ranked first shown, and the first soul skill, the blue silver winding, was activated. Countless thick and long vines wrapped around the body of the human-faced magic spider in the blink of an eye, tightly tightening it like dumplings. Bebe completed his martial soul possession in the air, and a dazzling blue light lit up from the center of his eyebrows and immediately descended into his body. Blue-purple electric lights seemed to swim around his body like small snakes. The changes brought to him by the martial soul were not significant, except for the addition of a blue lightning symbol on his forehead, only one change occurred due to the possession of the martial soul. Right arm. The sleeves of Bebe's clothes exploded and turned into ashes due to the expansion of her arm. The length of Bebe's right arm increased by more than half a foot, and the entire arm became extremely thick, covered in blue-purple scales. Her palm was like a dragon claw, also covered with thick dragon scales. The swirling blue-purple snake electricity constantly condensed or flowed on his arm, and the two yellow and one purple soul rings did not float up and down like normal soul masters, but only hovered on this special mutated arm. Longhua, the unique skill of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus rex family, has finally been witnessed with my own eyes. Ling Bai gently rubbed his chin and exclaimed in amazement. The first level dragon transformation is very stable. Ning Tian gave a fair evaluation. Wu Feng was unexpectedly silent, her eyes almost glued to Bei Bei's right hand like a dragon's claw, and envy and longing filled her brain. In theory, all dragon soul masters can perform dragon transformation. However, due to the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family's blockade of the secret method for stable dragon transformation, there are still no other dragon soul masters on the mainland who have completed dragon transformation. In the center of the battlefield, Bebe's first soul ring was already shining, and under the strong fluctuation of soul power, a blue-purple lightning condensed dragon claw shot out, fiercely striking the human-faced magic spider trapped by the blue silver grass. Bebe knew from the bottom of his heart that even if Tanya's blue silver grass absorbed two soul rings, he would never be able to control the human-faced magic spider for long. After all, the human-faced magic spider is a highly poisonous soul beast, and corrosive toxins and neurotoxins can easily defeat the blue silver grass. He must suppress the human-faced magic spider as soon as possible. The human-faced magic spider was stronger and more horizontal than Bebe had imagined. A layer of misty purple light sprayed out from beneath its belly, and the blue silver grass wrapped around it melted like a pool of purple liquid, dripping on the ground and corroding deep pits. The human-faced magic spider effortlessly broke free from the blue silver entanglement and rushed towards Bebe. This time, its first four spider legs were raised high, sharp as spears with cold light on their tips. Its eight small eyes humanized and showed a fierce killing intent, bound to kill Bebe with one blow. Bang! 
Amidst the thunderous roar, the human-faced magic spider pierced through the thunder dragon claw. Bebe's expression slightly changed, and his opponent's strength exceeded his prediction. Fortunately, he was not fighting alone. Tanya once again used the blue-silver grass to pull him to the ground, and the previous thunder dragon claw also bought him a few seconds of time. Bebe fell to the ground with continuous steps, her figure resembling a ghost gradually becoming illusory. The second soul ring on her right arm shone brightly, and countless snake lightning amplified at the same time. The lightning arrow flashed in the air, forming a thunderous web that covered the human face of the demon spider. If the thunder dragon claw is a test of the human face magic spider, then Bebe's second soul skill, Thunder Wanjun, is the true killing move. Covered by the power grid of blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, the human-faced spider can pack up and report underground. And the human-faced magic spider showed its domineering side, with a sudden thrust of its body, and its long legs slammed into the thunderous force. Surprisingly, with the sharpness of its legs and brute force, it broke through the power grid with a point by point. While destroying the thunderous force, the human-faced magic spider even had spare power to shoot a spider web from its lower abdomen. The spider web swelled in the storm and in an instant formed a huge web with a diameter of 5 meters, reflecting a purple luster under the sunlight. Ning Tian Hui Yuhao from behind couldn't help but take a few steps back, wanting to get closer to Ling Bai. Unlike ordinary spiders, the human-faced magic spider slowly spins silk and weaves a web. Its web can be instantly released, extremely sticky and tough, with the most deadly nerve poison attached. Wu Feng's face was also a bit pale. A few hours ago, she was once beaten into the ground by the Millennium Diamond Baboon. But if she had to choose between this human-faced magic spider and the Diamond Baboon, she would rather go and confront the Diamond Baboon head. On. The human-faced magic spider is so terrifying. As the proud son of Shrek Academy, Bebe understood that he couldn't be stuck to even the slightest bit of his body by a spider web. His whole body emitted a strong blue electric light, and the scales on his right arm quickly spread to cover his right chest. His breath surged again, and the purple millennium soul ring emitted a dazzling light. Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex Third Soul Skill, Thunder Fury the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex is known as the most powerful attacking beast soul in the mainland. Bebe's third soul skill, Thunder Fury, can increase his attack effect by 50%, and his thunder attribute is multiplied several times. Thunder Fury is not a direct attack skill against the enemy, but it can strengthen Bebe's overall strength to a level that looks like two people. Some weak martial souls and soul rings in the four ring soul sect are definitely not Bebe's opponents at this moment. A spider web covering the sky and sun descended from the sky, and a oppressive aura enveloped Bebe. Bebe snorted coldly, and the blue light in the dragon claw he transformed into in his right hand was swirling, with a faint crackling sound of lightning. The second soul ring shone brightly, and with a flick of his right arm, a thunderous web unfolded from the air. It was truly a thunderous force that was at least three times larger than before. Blue and purple engage in a fierce battle, emitting a muffled sound. It's the owner behind the two giant webs, the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex and the human-faced spider, engaged in a battle. In terms of erosive power, blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex is defeated by the human-faced spider with dual toxins. In terms of destructive power, the human-faced spider is not as powerful as Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex by one-tenth. Both sides have their own victories, and the ultimate result is that neither side can do anything about each other, as the blue and purple gradually deplete. The human-faced magic spider has been completely angered by Bebe. After the spider web was destroyed by lightning, drops of venom condensed from the tip of its legs, and a nauseating and pungent smell spread everywhere. It bounced its eight long legs and rushed towards it. This time, Bebe did not dodge anymore. Faced with the enraged human-faced magic spider, he did not retreat but moved forward. His right hand wiped over his waist, and dozens of white lights shot out in an instant, 
heading straight towards the lower abdomen of the human-faced magic spider's eyes. What is that? With the extraordinary vision brought by his spiritual eyes and martial soul, Hui Yuhao saw the true face of white light clearly. It was not a soul skill, but a diamond-shaped dart made of refined iron, just like what Tang Ye threw against the wind baboon before. Tongmen's Hidden Weapon Ling Bai calmly answered Hui Yuhao. Hidden Weapons Hui Yuhao heard this term for the first time, and a puzzled expression appeared on his eyebrows. Old products that fall behind the times, only the Tang clan in the whole mainland insists on using them, Ling Bai said lightly. Backward Hui Yuhao murmured to himself, seeming to understand why the Tang clan was so desolate that the two ring soul masters were the sect leaders. People who cannot keep up with the pace of the times are destined to be eliminated by the times. The only weakness of the human-faced magic spider is its eyes. It quickly crawled on the ground, and its protective shell was hit by a hidden dart weapon, sparking a series of sparks. Soul masters can perceive the strength and intensity of soul beasts, and soul beasts can also feel the strength and weakness of soul masters. The cultivation of the human-faced magic spider is on par with that of Bebe. It is very wary of the domineering thunder of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, so it would rather temporarily give up attacking and protecting its weaknesses. However, blocking it seems to realize that the strength of the dart is far from what was imagined. At this moment, the human-faced magic spider realized. The soul power of the current soul master is about to be exhausted. The self-proclaimed face demon spider, who was capable of breaking through everything, immediately turned to attack and fiercely resisted Bebe's constant supply of Tang clan hidden weapons, pulling them into a distance. He stood tall and supported his body with two long legs, and six spear-like long legs penetrated straight down, launching a deadly blow. This time, its speed is faster, with corrosive purple light attached to all six spider legs, coupled with its own neurotoxin. Not to mention being directly stabbed, even a little bit can be fatal to Bebe. Soul Beast Nightmare, Evil Slayer, Human-Faced Magic Spider uses this move to devour countless soul beasts and soul masters deep into the Star Doe Forest. At the moment when the six three-meter-long spider legs, resembling steel spears and spears, suddenly descended, Bebe smiled with a proud and cunning smile. Xiaoyao the human-faced magic spider raised its legs with the attack, and the fierce face formed by white veins on its lower abdomen was naturally exposed. The eight widened purple and ghostly eyes emitted a cold and bloodthirsty light. Tanya, who had been hiding for a long time, seized the opportunity and found an extra black box in her left hand. Her fingers skillfully played on the black box, emitting a series of mechanical sounds. Bang, bang, bang. A series of mechanical explosions rang out from the black box, and dark shadows flew out one by one, totaling sixteen. Under Tang Ye's subtle control, two shadows shot into each eye of the human-faced magic spider, instantly disappearing into its body. Tang Men Hidden Weapon, Juga Divine Crossbow Hiss The mournful scream was piercing and sharp, sounding particularly clear in the quiet starry forest. Juga's divine crossbow pierced into his brain from his eyes, and the body of the human-faced magic spider, covered in black armor, stiffened for a moment before violently tumbling on the ground. The nearby plants suffered from a reckless disaster, the hundred-legged insect died without stiffening, the human-faced magic spider twisted wildly and destroyed everything around it, the weak vegetation toxins instantly corroded, and the thick trees were shattered by its body impact. A few minutes later, within a radius of ten meters, everything was completely destroyed, and the life of the human-faced magic spider came to an end. Little purple light began to condense above its body. Get it done. Tanya jumped up and slapped Bebe, running happily to absorb the third soul ring. Bebe then took out a fine iron long sword and walked towards the body of the human-faced magic spider. The knife light flashed and the eight long legs of the human-faced magic spider flew together. The bloody scene, resembling a dismembered corpse, was witnessed by everyone present except for Hui Yuhao's slightly changed face. 
the two most important things on soul beasts are soul rings and soul bones. Bei Bei is searching for soul bones. Senior Bei. What's wrong? Ling Bai approached Bei Bei with a serious expression and said, Do you think winning is too easy? Easy. Bei Bei choked her throat in one breath, finally swallowing it and asked, What do you say? The human-faced magic spider can spit out its web three times a day, and I only used it once for you just now. Yes. Bebe hesitated for a moment and then explained, perhaps it didn't release the spider web carelessly, or maybe it had already used two opportunities today. You make sense, but look at this. Ling Bai pointed to the armor on the chest of the human-faced magic spider, the hardest part of its entire body. Bebe looked down and saw two fresh notches on the armor, unlike the injuries caused by the blue electric Tyrannosaurus rex, but more like the marks left by the claws of birds. Compared to frontal attacks, the human-faced magic spider is more willing to hide in the dark and sneak attack prey, which is also a common trait of spider soul beasts. Ling Bai licked his lips, and if you recall the scene where we discovered the human-faced magic spider, it doesn't seem like it was. Escape. Bei Bei understood everything at once, and her face instantly turned pale. What soul beast dared to pursue the human-faced magic spider in the Star Doe Forest? and even forced the human face magic spider to spray its web twice before escaping. The next second, Bei, Bei saw Ling Baiyang raise his head. Thinking of the traces on the armor of the human-faced magic spider birds, soul beasts. Sky. The strong wind suddenly rose, and a white phantom rushed towards Ning Tian and his companions in the rear. Chapter 8. The Tyrannous Dictator and the Blazing Dragon Vulture, Part 2. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The lotus leaf-like hem of Ning Tian's skirt was blown up by the strong wind, revealing her straight and slender legs, and her delicate face was filled with confusion and astonishment. Hui Yuhao and Wu Feng were still immersed in the terror brought by the previous human-faced magic spider. Just as they had no idea what had happened, a white phantom suddenly fell from the sky in their sight. Be careful. The blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex instantly possessed the body, and Bei, Bei chased back frantically with his ghostly footsteps. However, a beam of golden rays was faster than him, rubbing against his face and directly hitting the white shadow. That is a golden long sword, with a body as thin as willow leaves fluttering down, growing at the end of a beautiful woman's eyebrows. The sword frame is carved with intricate and mysterious patterns, like a pair of folded wings. Bei, Bei turned his head and saw the sunlight pouring down on this sword like a waterfall. Chang. The angel sword blocked the inevitable path of the white shadow attack, and the two produced a sharp explosion sound that seemed to collide with metal. The angel holy sword flew backwards and landed in front of Ning Tian. More than half of the blade penetrated into the ground, and the white shadow shattered several large trees, stirring up rolling smoke and dust. After the smoke and dust dissipated, the true face of Baiying was revealed. A massive soul beast with wings on its back, but landing on the ground with four pitiful white bone claws, its face made up of white matter and exposed teeth, making it ferocious and terrifying. Behind it, like a blooming flower, grows a cluster of sharp spikes, which are converging bone feathers, combining strong attack power and terrifying defense. This guy is. Bei, Bei recognized the origin of this soul beast, and because of this, his voice unconsciously became a bit dry. Ten thousand years. The Blazing Bone Dragon Eagle. The Blazing Bone Dragon Vulture, as recorded in ancient books, is a blazing bone griffin that collides with the body of the Bright Holy Dragon. It devours the dragon bone of the Bright Holy Dragon and evolves into a top-dot-level soul beast, the Blazing Bone Dragon Vulture. Its belief is to turn evil into ashes, and its belief is to kill a thousand wrongly and never let go of one. If the human-faced magic spider is called an evil killer, then the blazing bone dragon eagle is a tyrannical dictator. It turned out to be it, no wonder it was able to drive the human-faced magic spider away in embarrassment. Bei, Bei gave a bitter smile. Setting aside the pressure of cultivation, 
relying solely on the bloodline of the bright holy dragon, the blazing bone dragon vulture's killing face magic spider is almost no different from killing chicken. The highly poisonous spider web that makes the human face magic spider famous cannot break through the defense of the blazing bone dragon vulture's exoskeleton. It doesn't matter who it is, what's important is that I say it's dead. Ling Bai slowly walked up to Ning Tian and, under the gaze of the shy starry eyes of the other party, pulled out the angel holy sword with a thud. The original golden eyes presented a scorching red-gold color, which was intimidating. He first glanced at a location deep in the forest without leaving a trace, and then burst out a dazzling golden light. The three major soul rings of yellow, purple, and purple flashed one after another, and a pair of sacred wings broke out from his back. The golden veins crawled from his plain white neck to his face, like groups of thin snakes, and the illusory six-winged figure emerged behind him. Six. Six-winged angels. Bebe suspected that her eyes were blurred, and regardless of her appearance, she opened her mouth wide, with a few drooling faintly. It's not surprising that Bebe has lost his composure, as the six-winged angel holds an extremely special position in the Dolua continent. Legend has it that tens of thousands of years ago, after the angel god was deified, he established the martial soul hall in Dolua continent, leaving behind his own bloodline and legitimate martial soul, the six-winged angel. From then on, it has been determined that the first martial soul in the mainland will be covered in a coffin, and the divine level martial soul with six wings, surpassing the ultimate martial soul, will stand at the top of the mainland's martial soul pyramid. Until 10,000 years ago, the sea god Tang San led superpowers such as the Heavenly Do Empire, Shrek Academy, Tang Men, Haotian Sect, and Jiobao Liuli Sect to overthrow the martial soul hall, ending the rule of the angel clan, and the six-winged angel martial soul disappeared as if it had disappeared. Bebe never imagined that in his lifetime, he would see a six-winged angel. Seven treasures are transferred out with glass. Something even more shocking happened to him. After the crisp female voice, a dazzling rainbow light was released from the Ning celestial body. At the gathering point of the rainbow light, Ning Tian's right palm had an additional rainbow pagoda that was more than a foot high, with two yellow and one purple soul rings surrounding her. The Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda Bebe rubbed his eyes and exclaimed in shock, the six-winged angel and the Nine Treasures Glass sect went together. Bebe really wanted to slap himself and laugh three more times in the sky. He saw ghosts in broad daylight. Ten thousand years ago, the Martial Soul Hall almost wiped out the Nine Treasure Glass sect. Now, he has transformed and the Seven Treasure Glass Pagoda leans against the six-winged angel, one by one, with an incredibly friendly brother. And as new students at Shrek College, their talents seem a bit abnormal. Tangya is still absorbing the human face magic spider soul ring and cannot see it temporarily. When she wakes up and discovers the cultivation of Ling Bai and Ning Tian's third ring, Bei Bei is afraid that Tangya cannot hold back tears. Roar the flame bone dragon vulture is unaware of Bebe's rich psychological activities. It was originally focused on getting rid of the human faced magic spider as a beast, but was accidentally run away by the human faced magic spider. Feeling insulted, it became extremely angry. Just now, it had Ling by fight back with the angel holy sword, and its rationality was gradually on the brink of collapse. Soul masters and soul beasts are natural enemies. The blazing bone dragon eagle, which claims to be the arbiter of the soul beast world, will never spare any human soul master. The pale bone feathers of the flame bone dragon vulture open close in sequence from front to back, emitting a piercing sound of sword and sword attacks. Its face, covered in bone protrusions, exudes the majesty of a giant dragon. It overlooks the tiny six-winged angel, opens its huge bone wings, and roars deafening. Hui Yuhao tightly covered his ears, feeling that his heart had almost stopped beating. He stared at Ling Bai and inexplicably began to admire this guy who had a bad impression before. He could stand tall and draw his sword in front of this terrifying creature. Hui Yuhao felt waves of heat surging in his heart, 
and the combat instinct of the soul master began to awaken. He quickly activated soul power to inject into his spiritual eyes, and the newly acquired heavenly dream eye silkworm soul technique flashed in his mind for the first time. Zio Yuheo, let them see your soul skills. The sound of Tianmeng ice silkworm laughing echoed in Hui Yuhao's mind. Okay. Hui Yuhao's only white soul ring flickered, connecting his spiritual power to everyone except Tanya. Oh. Ling Bai was certain, Ning Tian was surprised, Wu Feng was surprised, and Bei Bei was surprised. Various expressions on their faces were brilliant and varied. In their perception, the flow of time seemed to slow down, everything around them was exceptionally clear, and a large amount of information appeared instantly in their sight. Bei Bei looked at the flame bone dragon vulture, and his mind automatically remembered the distance between him and the flame bone dragon vulture, as well as the changes in every muscle and feather on the flame bone dragon vulture's body, all the subtle details were clearly presented. Tian Meng Ice Silkworm's four soul skills are combined in one, sharing spiritual detection. The seven treasures are famous, one is strength. The other is speed. Ning Tianyu held the colorful and sparkling seven treasures glass pagoda in her hand, reflecting the stunning and delicate appearance that increasingly aroused people's souls. Warm and light, the other people's hearts felt two feelings at the same time. The true name of the world's top auxiliary martial soul fruit is not false. Bei Bei enjoyed the assistance of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda for the first time. The Three Rings Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda can provide a 40% increase in strength and speed, and with the sharing of spiritual detection, the dual assistance greatly narrowed the gap between them and the Flame Bone Dragon Vulture. Wu Feng, you don't have to worry about the Blazing Bone Dragon Eagle, protect Ning Tian well, Ling Bai suddenly turned back and said. Ah. Me. Wu Feng pointed to himself, his round eyes filled with shock that was about to overflow into a sound. Really? Really fake? Ling Bai is too lazy to bother with her. He knows that Wu Feng is foolish enough, but can't he work hard to create a false impression of having a brain below the sky? I can only rely on you, Wu Feng Jr. sister. Bei Bei observed the form of the next match, and although he received a double increase, the witchcraft style of the second ring road was still far from that of the 10,000-year soul beast. Joining the battle recklessly is likely to be a burden for him and Ling Bai. Moreover, Tangya, who is absorbing the human face magic spider soul ring, and Ning Tian Hui Yuhao, who has no self-protection ability, all three of them need to be guarded by a battle soul master. Bei Bei's words were filled with sincerity. Wu Feng Jr. sister, Xiaoya and Jr. brother are also bothering you. Okay. Wu Feng slammed his chest, causing a well-developed area to tremble and create an astonishing curve. At this moment, the fate of the three of them all depended on one person. Wu Feng's heart suddenly felt a sense of pride. If he wanted to kill them, he would first step over my body, and the red flame of the red dragon burned wildly. Suddenly, the blazing bone dragon eagle moved, and in its perception, as the colorful light from the seven treasures glass pagoda entered its body, Ling Bai and Bei Bei's momentum became increasingly majestic. The wisdom of the eternal soul beasts is already high, and the blazing bone dragon vultures do not want them to exceed their control. Roar the huge wing bones, which were folded behind like a screen, unfolded, and the texture of the bones was like steel repeatedly calcined by the flames. The massive body of the blazing dragon eagle covered the sky and sun, and its huge mouth spewed out a jet of pitch black mist. This forest seemed to have been turned off and suddenly dimmed. Talent Soul Skill, Bone Etching Mist the black mist contains the ghostly aura that has been cultivated by the blazing bone dragon eagle for thousands of years, which can corrode and melt blood, flesh, metal, and even soul power. At the same time, it can block the line of sight and hide the body shape. This scene takes place on the flame bone dragon vulture, which is somewhat ironic. Despite countless hardships, it steals the blood of the light holy dragon from the dragon bone, 
and its innate soul skill is to shield the light and descend into darkness. The tyrannical dictator who claims to eliminate evil in the name of light is itself the embodiment of evil. At the same time, Ling Bai and Bei Bei discovered that in the shared vision of spiritual detection, the flame bone dragon vulture inexplicably disappeared out of nowhere. The bone etching mist not only interferes with vision, but its most terrifying aspect is that it can even block spiritual power. Brother Ling Brother Ling Bei Bei shouted loudly to Ling Bai, and the visibility inside the black mist was extremely low. The thunder of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex only illuminated a circular range with a diameter of one meter. Roar A piercing roar penetrated into my ears, even if I tightly covered my ears, I could hear it clearly. The third soul skill, Thunder Fury. The second soul skill is thunderous. The second and third soul rings lit up at the same time. Faced with the eternal soul beast, Bebe dared not hold it too big. Blue and purple thunder roamed around every corner of her body, and a thunderous net swung fiercely towards her head. However, all of this is in vain in front of the flame bone dragon vulture. A pair of dismal white bone claws seem to gently cut open a thin piece of paper and tear open the thunderous web. The most proud lightning of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex was completely ignored by the exoskeleton of the blazing bone vulture. Under Bebe's angry gaze, the head of the blazing bone dragon eagle tore open a crack, instantly exceeding its size, making Bebe think of the python about to prey. White fangs arranged in a spiral pattern, and deep down her throat, there seemed to be ghosts howling. Bebe truly felt that death was so close to her. Bebe used all his soul power to unleash a thunderous dragon claw, but was knocked out by the bone claw of the blazing bone dragon eagle. Did he suddenly see light? Bebe saw clearly, it was light. A pair of sun-like pupils burst out with light. That pair of golden eyes were unprecedented to Bebe, as if they were looking at each other, leaving only pure light in this world. Ordinary people couldn't help but want to kneel and kiss the feet of gods. Ling Bai lifted his head and took a deep breath, as if he wanted to inhale both heaven and earth into his body. His lofty will, unparalleled power, purified the holy light of all things. The third soul skill of the six-winged angel, Sacred Heart. Ling Bai's third soul ring comes from a 5,000-year-old golden earth dragon king, whose bright dragon clan bloodline is extremely pure, bringing Ling Bai an exceptionally powerful third soul skill. The holy heart soul skill effect purifies all negative effects of oneself, with a 100% increase in all attributes and a 50% increase in spiritual power in a short period of time. The speed of soul power consumption is greatly reduced, and the holy power of the six-winged angel is fully activated. After entering the state of the sacred heart, Ling Bai was enveloped in a golden holy light, like a deity bringing redemption to desperate mortals. The bone etching mist wanted to approach, but could never get closer. Ling Bai raised the angel holy sword, with the tip pointing towards the blazing bone dragon eagle that was about to devour Bei Bei in the next second. The angel holy sword also transformed from a dead object into something that seemed to come back to life. The angel wings on the sword frame swung out a little golden light, and the first soul ring shone. The angel holy sword drew a golden seven-pointed star formation. The first soul skill, the radiant spirit formation. Bang! The radiant spirit formation suddenly exploded on the body of the flame bone dragon vulture. The flame bone dragon vulture let out a painful cry as it retreated, leaving seven bloody marks on its back, tearing it apart with flesh and blood, revealing its bloodied forest white bones. Roar! Looking at Ling by chasing after him, the blazing bone dragon vulture has never suffered such a heavy blow in the past 10,000 years. Its crimson eyes fly high into the sky, and a deep black light suddenly bursts out on its bone wings, submerging Ling Bai's sky into a black world. In this world, countless javelin-like bone feathers shimmer with fierce coldness. Talented soul skills, thousands of bones and feathers. 
Launching tens of thousands of bone feathers at once, the sharpness of the bone feathers combined with the corrosion of bone corroding ghost chi is the most powerful talent soul skill of the flame bone dragon vulture. The sky was like a pouring rain, with the sound of bone feathers falling continuously. Ling Bai's face was as calm as water, and the magnificent seven-pointed star formation was shrouded in sword energy. Glorious spirit formation. Imperial. Ding ding ding. The pitch black bone feathers and silver white sword shadows fought against each other and annihilated each other. This land seemed to have turned into a world of black and gold, with sword and ghost energies echoing back and forth. At the most critical moment, accompanied by the girl's clear drink, a rainbow glow broke the balance. The seven treasures are famous, and the third one is. Attack. Between black and gold, no one can see clearly how Ling Bai moved and when. His movements were extremely fast, so fast that they resembled a phantom of nothingness, but at the same time, they appeared very light, as light as a white mist spewing out of his mouth in the cold winter, and the water vapor melted into the stormy night. Ling Bai's purple second soul ring, which exceeded its limits, quietly flickered. The angel holy sword fell horizontally on the body of the blazing bone dragon vulture, and the dazzling golden blade tore open its even harder exoskeleton than its dragon scales. Broken claw. Cut the wings. Cut your waist. Owl head. For slashes were swung out at the same moment, and in that moment, the sword shone like golden lightning, cutting through the blazing bone dragon eagle. The massive body of the flame bone dragon vulture fell to the ground with a loud roar, and a rich black light overflowed from its body, condensed into a semi-empty black soul ring. Chapter 9 Death Prison Spider Emperor, Part 1 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Black, Eternal Soul Ring, signifies the death of the blazing bone dragon eagle. Bebe sat slumped on the ground like a collapse, feeling like he had narrowly escaped death. His chest was beating like a drum, and his entire back was soaked in sweat. He looked at Ling Bai with lingering palpitations and said. Thanks to you, Brother Ling, otherwise everyone would have died under the flame bone dragon vulture. The eternal soul beast, especially the top eternal soul beast like the flame bone dragon vulture, even with the dual assistance of the seven treasures glass pagoda and spirit eyes, is far beyond the ability of the third ring soul lord to resist. Ling Bai's ability to defeat it head dot on is enough to demonstrate the domineering spirit of the six-winged angel and his formidable combat talent. If it weren't for Master Bei attracting the attention of the blazing bone dragon vulture in the first place, I wouldn't have been able to defeat it. Ling Bai stepped forward and reached out to pick up Bei Bei, with a humble tone, but a hint of sincerity in his words remains unknown. Xiao Tian, haven't you been injured? Ling Bai smiled and asked Ning Tian. With you here, the flame bone dragon vulture doesn't care about us. Ning Tian tidied up Ling Bai's wrinkled clothes after the battle, and the gentle and charming smile made Wu Feng turn away. A pair of small fists clenched tightly, silently reciting the supreme scripture of, Revenge for a woman is never too late, in his heart. Hui Yuhao stared at Ling Bai with a somewhat complicated expression. Fear, fear, gratitude but he knew very well that his innermost emotion was actually envy, envy of Ling Bai, who was of similar age, for his exceptional talent in terrifying combat prowess. Hui Yuhao couldn't help but fantasize that if he had such talent, he would be able to avenge his mother. Zio Yuhao, don't forget that brother is the only one million year soul ring in the mainland. Your revenge will be avenged by dream brother the day after tomorrow. Tianmeng Ice Silkworm soothes Hui Yuhao's sensitive emotions. Well, I believe you, Heavenly Dream Brother. Heavenly Dream Brother, Second Ice Martial Soul, Shrek Academy Hui Yuhao couldn't help but look forward to the future. In the first college in mainland China, he will definitely crazily absorb any methods that are conducive to becoming stronger. Ling Bai saw that Ning Tian was unharmed and slowly walked towards the body of the blazing bone dragon eagle. Looking at the pitch-black eternal soul ring, he couldn't help but fall into contemplation. Bai Gu, you. 
Ning Tian ran a few steps and followed up. As a childhood sweetheart, she knew Ling Bai very well and realized that he was attracted to this soul ring. No, 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 no one wants to absorb the fourth soul ring of ten thousand years beyond their means. I advise someone to dispel this idea as soon as possible. After saving the soul beast's soul shock and explosive body, please ask Ning Tian and me to collect the corpse. Wu Feng's mouth was filled with a mocking expression, but his red and beautiful eyes flashed with a hint of imperceptible concern. Xiao Feng Ning Tian gave Wu Feng a dissatisfied glare. Ling Bai Hun smiled nonchalantly and said, It's normal for Xiao Tian to care about me. Why did Wu Feng Yu suddenly persuade me so kindly? Whispering. Wu Feng gave Ling Bai a cold glance and said, Who would advise you? I'm afraid Ning Tian will be sad if you die. Of course, we will grow up together at least, and I still have a little regret if you die. After speaking, Wu Feng seemed to feel a bit embarrassed and immediately patched up, just a little bit. She extended her green thumb and index finger, making a gesture that could drive Ling Bai's previous life, Bang Zigua, crazy. Ling Bai couldn't help but laugh. He knew as much about Wu Feng as he did about Ning Tian. Wu Feng had a proud and spoiled personality, but he was not bad. His mouth was hard and his heart was soft. That's why he often takes care of Wu Feng. Ling Shuedi and Wu Feng Shueme have a point. The concepts of Thousand Year Soul Beast and Thousand Year Soul Beast are completely different, absorbing them in a world of difference. After checking that Tang Ye's absorption of soul rings went smoothly, Bei Bei joined the persuasion team. After 10,000 years of cultivation, the resentment of the soul beast after death will be hidden in the soul ring. When the soul master absorbs it, he will launch a fatal strike, which is called soul oscillation. Only when the cultivation level of a soul master exceeds level 50, can both physical and mental strength mature to resist soul vibrations. Once, a soul master broke through the limit and absorbed a soul ring for 10,000 years in advance, but most of the results were direct explosions and deaths. Those who managed to save their lives would also collapse in the sea of spirit and become idiots for the rest of their lives. Senior Bebe, I believe you have just seen my soul ring ratio, Ling Bai smiled lightly. So far, each of my soul rings has exceeded the limit of the soul ring theory in the soul master realm. If I remember correctly, the fourth soul ring of Tang San, the ancestor of the Tang clan, is a 10,000-year-old cave magic spider. I am a six-winged angel, inheriting the bloodline and pride of the angel god. I will not accept anyone above me Ling Bai took every word seriously, looking into Bei Bei's eyes without hesitation. His handsome face was as indifferent as a stone carving. Okay. Bei Bei remained silent for a while before finally spitting out a word from his throat. He recalled the past of the Tang men and angel lineage thousands of years ago, and then suddenly realized that perhaps Ling Bai had told him in this way. They will eventually find it difficult to become close friends. But the most important reason is. Ling Bai changed his tone and said, I am interested in the soul skills of the flame bone dragon vulture. This lowly fire thief will not conflict with the six-winged angel, after all, the things flowing in his bones and blood cannot be changed. This sentence clearly explains Ning Tian and Wu Feng. Xiao Tian Wu Feng, help me protect the law. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu. Net, hmm. Ning Tian and Wu Feng couldn't resist Ling Bai, so they just trusted him as always. Sitting on the ground, Ling Bai pulled the soul ring of the blazing bone dragon eagle, and the black soul ring suspended above Ling Bai's head along the soul power. The black airflow continuously surged out of the blazing bone dragon eagle's soul ring, turning into strands of silk thread that penetrated Ling Bai's body. With the absorption of the soul ring, Ling Bai's original three major soul rings, one yellow, two purple, slowly dimmed, as if suppressed by these 10,000-year soul rings. Ling Bai's skin emitted a layer of black light, and his body was like a solitary boat in the sea, 
with a feeling of being engulfed by huge waves at any time and anywhere. At the same time, what happened in the sea of spirit was even more urgent for him. The spiritual sea of an ordinary soul master is presented in a watery form, transforming from the initial drops to the vast and boundless ocean with the growth of soul power and cultivation. But Ling Bai's spiritual sea is different. The vast and desolate land, apart from the impenetrable darkness and the indestructible silence, has nothing left. The black surface is littered with torn marks, crisscrossing like scars. Purple and black threads hang above the sky, resembling spider webs from a distance. Today, there are finally more guests in the sea of spirit. The bone wings that cover the sky and sun are unfolding, and waves of ghost energy whirlwinds are sweeping across this land. The resentment of the blazing bone dragon eagle condenses into a physical entity and roars wildly in the sea of spirit in Lingbai. Is this soul oscillation? The movement is indeed quite significant. Lingbai stood by a black crack, looking up at the raging blazing bone dragon eagle, but his tone was plain and indifferent, not touched by the madness of this soul beast, and he didn't care at all that it was his own spiritual sea. Little friend, you're not authentic. Alex's spiritual body transformed from a black pearl into a human form and quietly landed beside Ling Bai. Chapter 10 Death Prison Spider Emperor, Part 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Senior, what does this mean? Ling Bai tilted his head slightly and said with a smile. Electrolux had a pair of lifeless silver-gray eyes, a head of gray-white long hair falling behind his head, with a faint golden glow on his forehead. His face was ancient, and his tall body was wrapped in a black robe. Alex carried his hands on his back and said calmly, What is there in your spiritual sea that he doesn't know? See ha. During their conversation, the blazing bone dragon eagle hovering in the sky spotted Ling Bai's tiny figure. The face, made up of white bones and exposed teeth, showed a humanized grin. With a flap of its bone wings, its massive body descended from the sky like a white meteor. The distance between the flame bone dragon vulture and him was getting closer and closer. Even in his spiritual body, Ling Bai could still feel the pain of his face being torn apart by the strong wind. Yay! A deep and furious roar suddenly rang out, and in the eyes of the blazing bone dragon eagle landing in the air, Eight blood-colored lights lit up in the invisible crack next to Ling Bai. The deafening roar, accompanied by splashing black gravel, rushed out of the crack. The blazing bone dragon eagle, without even a hint of resistance, was torn by an unknown monster in the crack and charged towards the infinitely high and vast dark sky. After a few seconds, the flame bone dragon vulture finally realized that it was in the mouth of this monster, with its proud bone wings embedded under the opponent's spear-like long legs. The mountain-like monster's strength made it impossible to break free. At this moment, the blazing bone dragon eagle saw clearly the monster's face in the crack. And those eight blood-colored pupils that illuminate the sky. To towering heights. Extremely fierce. Death Prison Spider Emperor. Ling Bai's Second Martial Soul. The flame bone dragon vulture has stolen the dragon clan bloodline of the bright holy dragon, and there are various powerful soul beasts in its mind. However, in its bloodline memory, there has never been such a terrifying monster. The death intent contained in its blood pupils makes it feel fearful from the bottom of its heart. Even the pure dragon race that has been seen from afar in the starry forest cannot compare to this death prison spider emperor. Creek, creak. It heard the sound of being bit by bit chewed and swallowed by the death jail spider emperor, and its remaining consciousness was pulled away one by one. As it passed away, a strong sense of regret rose in its heart. Perhaps it should not have pursued the human-faced magic spider, causing it to ultimately die in the mouth of another spider. The eternal soul beast, the blazing bone dragon eagle, declares complete death. After devouring the resentment of the blazing bone dragon eagle, the death prison spider emperor hung upside down on a spider web in the distant sky, with eight deep, blood-like eyes locked on Ling Bai on the ground. Eat. More. 
The huge purple black body of the death prison spider emperor is like a world dot shaking demon god. It opens its sharp teeth like a hook and sickle, and even spits out human words. Definitely next time. You'd better. The death prison spider emperor responded coldly, his eight spider legs moving in unison, and his figure gradually disappeared. The sea of spirit is left with only Ling Bai and Ilix looking at each other. Come on, this sea of spirit, one by one without making a sound. After a long silence, Electrolux was the first to break the silence. So. Is that why you are asking me for help? Senior. Your wise eyes are like a torch. Ling by side and looked at Electrolux, his dazzling golden eyes quietly turning blood red at some point. There was a strange protrusion on his back that could break through at any moment, as if he would become another death prison spider emperor in the next second. This world is called Doloa Continent. At the age of six, everyone awakens their own martial soul, and I am no exception. I also awaken the unparalleled twin martial souls, the six-winged angel, and the death prison spider emperor. Electrolux nodded lightly, now like an experienced doctor, listening to the patient's condition to determine the cause of his illness and prescribe the right medicine. Good news, twin martial souls have been awakened, bad news, there is an evil martial soul, Ling Bai joked to himself. Let me explain to the seniors that the evil soul masters who awakened the evil martial soul in Doloa continent are shouting and beating, and the dogs on the roadside dare to kick them. Of course, the prerequisite is to be prepared for the dog's leg to be broken. Upon hearing these words, Electrolux couldn't help but smile and said, you can think of it. From my observation, your six-winged angel is the purest divine attribute with an extremely pure divine nature hidden within its origin. Even she can't suppress the death jail spider emperor. No wonder you begged me. Speaking of this, Ling Bai's face was covered with a hint of gloom. The six-winged angel has the protection of the angel god and is known as an evil natural enemy by Dolua continent. But the key is that I suspect there is also a deity within the death prison spider emperor's body, whose strength is much greater than that of the angel god. After investigation by the head of the Nine Treasures Glass sect, the Death Prison Spider Emperor is a top-dot-level mutated martial soul formed by the combination of the two major soul beast kings, the Death Spider Emperor and the Soul Devouring Spider Emperor. Six-winged angel, Death Spider Emperor, Soul Devouring Spider Emperor Ling Bai happened to be born in the city of Jialing, where the battle of the two gods had occurred. He reasonably inferred that the death prison spider emperor had the divine power of the Rakshasa god inside his body. Another deity. Electrolux furrowed his brows and wrote on his face, Don't take any advantage, kid. Senior. Ling Bai's eyes seemed to gather a dark storm. The death prison spider emperor is a death attribute martial soul. Death is a solemn and sacred thing, and its function is to give meaning to life. UU reading www.uukangshu.net is the inevitable and only endpoint of life. I don't want to see it corrupted into an evil martial soul by the power of evil gods. You are the sage of death, and I hope you can lend me a helping hand. Death is a solemn and sacred thing. Electrolux slowly repeated Ling Bai's words, subconsciously recalling the deity he had bestowed upon him back then, the deathly holy Dharma god. Only when the result ends in death, life becomes particularly precious. Ling Bai's understanding of death coincides with his, and Alex's gaze at Ling Bai also adds a touch of appreciation and approval. He spoke up. I traveled through time and space to the Dolua continent, and coincidentally met you and stayed in your spiritual sea. This is fate in the underworld. This Ilix, in my world, humans call me the deathly holy Dharma god, the scourge of the undead. In the future, you can call me Palau. Dot. Yes, Palau. Ling Bai bowed deeply to Electrolux, and that sentence meant that Elder Elau had already decided to help him. Electrolux continued, I only have a strand of residual soul power left, and I need to recover for a while. It's okay, it's been so many years and I can afford to wait. You can rest here, 
and I will also search for some treasures from the outside to help you recover your strength. Well, you go back. Ling Bai nodded, and the angel sword filled with holy light appeared in his right hand. With a gentle stroke of the void, he turned around and walked into the crack that the angel sword had cut open, leaving the sea of spirit. Watching Ling Bai leave the sea of spirit, the rustling sound suddenly rang out, and Ilex suddenly woke up. It seems something's wrong. Ling Bai has left, isn't it that I have to face the powerful death prison spider emperor alone? It's broken, I fell for it.